NFL Top 5, Bottom 5, after week number 15. We only got two weeks left of this. How crazy is that? And then we got playoffs. Let's roll. Uh, we are going to, hey, you know what? First off, Tunica, Mississippi sponsors the show. South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books down there. We like all of them. I'm telling you, go down, visit. It's wonderful. TunicaTravel.com has got more information on all six of them. So go check that bad boy out. You can find more information about us, all our social media stuff, uh, YouTube, everything else over at winningcureseverything.com. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button for us. Leave some comments below. Who's in your bottom five? Who belongs in that we didn't put in? Uh, who's in your top five? Like, maybe we messed something up. I don't think we did. I feel pretty good about this. But uh, but either way, leave some comments, all that wonderful stuff. Let's jump in. We're going to do 32 through 28 first. Bottom of the barrel is the Arizona Cardinals for me. That's number 32. You agree with this? No, I still You still have got the Raiders. the Raiders. Listen, man, the Raiders just played a hapless, lifeless Bengals team that was dead in the water. Yeah, and the Cardinals played a, a lifeless Falcons team. Yeah, the Falcons have Pro Bowl players. Julio Jones is a monster still. Matt Ryan is still a great quarterback. Driscoll? Is not. Name a receiver for him. I, I got nothing. Boyd. Boyd's your best receiver, but he ain't great. Like, <laughs> like this is, come on now. You cannot compare, as much as I like to crap on Atlanta, nobody has made more fun of Atlanta than me. You cannot I think the com- Cardinals have been bad enough that I think Steve Wilkes is probably going to get fired. Maybe. But uh, anyway. After one year. Listen. When a Hugh Jackson <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the staff team beats you, that's sad. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. I mean, I've got um, the Cardinals next, so I'm sure I've got we're the 31, Raiders 31. 32, but I'm just not getting away from the Raiders just being DFL. All right, you, you want to list off your 30 or you want me to? I think we might have the same one. Jacksonville? I got the Jags number 30. Man. I, I felt like, man, what a, what a fall from grace. I'm going to tell you this. Cody Blake, Kessler's awful. Blake Bortles <laughs> is not that bad. No, he, like Blake can't he be that bad. This has to be, we're putting you in the corner. We're, this has to be punitive, right? Like, we're punishing you for sins that you did long ago. I mean, it's got to be you're, something. You're, this is not a meritocracy. This is not best best players playing. No, because Blake isn't isn't as bad as Not Kessler. Not close. Blake is not good. Blake is a professional quarterback. Yeah. Cody Kessler, I, I don't know. I've said this. I don't know that he would make the AF team. The AF. <laughs> AF. <laughs> I don't know that he'd make that league. You might be right. You might be right. I I just I don't know what this team is anymore. I I got no idea. Uh, number twenty nine. I got the Forty ers Two big wins in a row against big teams. No, I got the Jets. Give me you the know, Jets. Sam Darnold. Give me a break. That Jets team is terrible. I, I thought about putting the Jets here. I I kept the Jets out because I thought they looked pretty good against the uh, the Texans. Their defense did. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But I guess but the that, 49ers, de- that defense like, is getting better. That offense, that offense, bigly bad. The the 49ers got like a huge, like tight end touchdown and a huge. Uh, Kittle, uh, Kittle was their kick-up. best offensive player. You can't blame a huge tight end touchdown. Not well, only and, Kittle got and, the and off, and, uh, 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 kickoff return for touchdown. Yeah, okay. Like, and I understand that those things are part of the game and whatnot, but like. It's beat the hell out of the Seahawks, which is one of the hottest teams in the NFL right now. I wonder how much the Seahawks... Like, I know that you hate this. Like, I, I got you. So I, stupid. You can't either do way. That. You can't do that. They just beat a playoff team, man. They beat yeah. them bad. Like, they beat them up. I know that it took the overtime. But, like, like but they, Seahawks yeah, they played with it, yeah. could do nothing. Yeah, it was it was an interesting, interesting ball game. Uh, number 28, I got the Bengals. And I got the Lions. I think those are two comparable teams. I don't and then they got the same record, don't they? Uh, probably, maybe. I think they're both five and nine. I, I don't know. I mean, I know, the Lions, I know this. Like the Lions just got beat by the Bills, and I know they were picked to get beat by the Bills, but that's still sad. Like you, this is like one of those. This games is a Bills team Lions, that that is filled with like, like college second teamers. <laughs> yes, like, like all, Keith all, Ford. Hey, you know what's funny? <laughs> Keith Ford like touched the ball a lot for the Bills, right? Did I tell you about running into Keith Ford at the Kroger, like right down the street? Two years ago. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. Who was up here in Memphis From working A&M. out for the NFL, Yeah, getting ready for the NFL. 
And I was like, is he going to get drafted? Is he let in? No, he wasn't going to get drafted, but like, I, let, let me Duke tell you. play. The Robert Foster, by the way, never had a game where he had over 50 yards no. receiving for Alabama. He no. rarely ever touched the field, even. What they are doing on offense is the definition of creativity. Dable, Dable needs to get some looks at some head coaching. What he's doing with that island of misfit toys on the offensive side of the ball yeah. is nothing less than miraculous. If you gave him a shiny new toy that's a capable, competent quarterback in real receivers, like actual athletes. Oh, there's no doubt. That, I, like, I'm actually really impressed with the coaching staff at the Buffalo Bills. If they had talent, they'd be scary. I remember this team, not this exact team, but a team kind of like this that wore those uniforms made the playoffs last year. Oh, yeah. It would, it, so I'll tell you, Dable, the reason that he Sean left McDermott's Alabama. It's an actual pretty damn good coach. Oh, I mean, they, they've won five. Their over under was what, three and a half? No, no. I've got them at the over under at five and a half. And I need them to lose out and me to win that bet. Okay. Okay. There was five and a half. I took them under, took the Browns over. They were both five and a half. Okay. Dable, the rumor that was going around was that he and Saban did not get along. No, it didn't surprise me. Because he wanted to play Tua last year. He well, he could, wanted to run an offense. Open, yeah, he could open his But I don't playbook. think it was just Tua. I think he even, even if you told him Jalen has to be your guy, I think he wanted to run an offense like, listen, I'm limited on talent at the quarterback position, but I can do stuff with limited talent. Just watch me. Yeah, and Let they me. said, no, 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 and, no. And we, I think Nick says, I got some handcuffs for you. Put None these, of that crazy put, stuff. Put these on and do what I tell you because this defense carries us. Yep. And that's just the way it's always been. And, and yeah, I think, I think there's no question. And if I was looking for a, a head coach right now, Dable I, might be a good I would not be disappointed or upset. No, he, if he, I had has, he has jumped up a whole lot in the past. That defense is actually two pretty years. good. Oh, yeah. It's hard because they're on the field all the time because the offense is bad. But he is, I mean, he, he's just running the crazy stuff. Maximizing talent. Maximizing I'm very talent. impressed. Me too. Me too. Let's jump into the top five. I think this will roll quick. Yep. Uh, number five, I got the Rams. I got the Bears still. Really? Yeah. I love the Bears, and I, but I, I I think the Rams, I mean, they have a better record than them. They have some bigger wins than the Rams, even though the Bears beat them heads up. All right, I got the Bears number four right now. I think okay. the Rams the Rams look like they've got problems right now. I think I think Gurley might be hurt. Um, like he's probable and, and whatever. Um, Goff, the last two weeks, like six interceptions in two weeks, not good. That that offense is slowing down a little bit. You talk, I, you talk me into that. You talk me into that. So I I don't know what's up with the Rams. I'm I'm curious. I mean, they got Arizona this week, so they're gonna get right. You talk me but, into you can talk me into flipping those two. Number three, just got, just for right now. Uh, number, number three, three I got the Chiefs. I got the Chiefs. Okay. Um, number. I can't believe we're we're the same up here. And then number two, the Chargers. I got the Chargers. I I just did not think you would have the Chargers that high. That's look look look. I I'm I'm unbiased as far as like understanding, hey, look, this team is one of the best teams in football right now. I don't like the Chargers. I don't like Dean Spanos. I can't help that. I don't want them to win anything because of him. They don't have a fan base. They don't have – that. this would be – Winning in spite of having a fan base is a big deal. They don't have a home field advantage that's and they still win number, games. That's why I got them at two. That's why I've got him at two. I am fine. But, but I don't like him. I know that I'm on the whoa short list here. But I, I'm on the Phillip Rivers fan base, man. I like this guy. No, it, hey, look, he's insanely likable. He's no, I mean, like there's it's been a lot of people have hated on him. They say he whiny, cried, and he used to get into it with Cutler, which is really kind of funny. Well, yeah. I mean, um, <laughs> I mean you know, this is like, like, I look, man. This guy's good. When they had him on TV the other night after the game, they always bring the, the player of the game on, the Thursday night crew and the countdown guys. Um, and, and like, he's he's really entertaining. I think this guy's going to be on TV um, when it's all said and done. And uh, I think he's nine gonna, kids. Or, no, he's got, like, eight with a ninth uh, on the way. I think the ninth one's done. I think he's, got, I think he's got nine, and I think that's the reason he's going to go on TV. Is I, I got to keep heard, working. I heard I'm a radio show. Out of the house. I heard a radio show. Bring up, and I can't remember which one. It was like, what would it take for you to have nine kids? 
I don't know how it's physically possible because I know how babies are made. And, and after like three or four, how do you even like get to do that in the house? I have no idea. Like if I'm doing that, it ain't in the house. It's probably not with the people. It's what I need to be. It, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like but that's it, like that's it, just that's well, look, we got a we got a seven insane. month old. It don't happen that much no, anymore. No, that's like, like nine. You got nine. Just, like, like how did the, the how did the sixth and seventh and eighth one get made? I mean, it's got to be. We got time for that. I mean, you gotta you gotta schedule it out at some point. I and guess. how do you convince the old lady like that's happening? Unless she's the one that that is convincing you. I don't get it, man. I don't understand. Listen, it I I like my two children. I don't really like kids a whole lot. I'm kind of scared <laughs> of them. I like my two, and that's it. I, I, there's no doubt if I had three or four, at least one or two of them I'm not going to like. Yeah. No, I just don't. don't, don't we're not, we're, oh, nope, nope, not hanging out with you today. Sorry. Nope, nope. Go to your mama. So I'm, I, I'm done with that. I know I'm a terrible person for that. Um, so it, off that, uh, the Saints, number one. Saints um, still number one. They find ways to win games even when they look like even crap. Even when they look like crap because they looked like crap against uh, against the Panthers. But listen, it was it, watching it makes, that game, Luke Keekley was mic'd up for that game, and that is the most amazing mic'd up we've ever seen anybody maybe. That guy was literally on mic telling people, I got this. I know the play call. And calling it out while he's mic'd up. And we hear him, go that way. They're going to run that. Boom. Go that way. They're going to call this. Boom. They're going to do that. Boom. And they did it. Even if he wasn't the one making the play, he was telling guys, oh, I see what they're about to do. And they did it, and they absolutely did it. It's nuts. So, So that's just they still won the game. Um, I, I, I think it's going to make the, the the Pittsburgh game interesting. I'm very, I'm very curious. These were my Super Bowl win. These were my two Bowl yeah, teams. Yeah, Saints right and here. the Chargers, one and two. At the beginning of the season, I was, I was a little nervous about that. Um, feeling a little chesty about it right now. Um, I feel better about the Chargers than I do the Saints. I can believe that. Um, the other, the only thing is in the NFC, like, who's going to beat the Saints? Who who is going to the Superdome to beat the Saints? If if I, but I'm I'm going to say something that's like you, you not think, going. You think to... Trubisky's going to be able to score enough points? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the Rams' this. offense doesn't look that, very good right on, now. Hang on, there's a like, there's a guy that could change that. If if Khalil Mack goes in there and Drew, a hey, they hadn't locked up home field yet. Okay, uh, they're they're real close. If if Khalil Mack goes in there. He, Drew Brees might not see the Super Bowl. He might not see the the second quarter. And no, I mean don't don't forget, even if they don't lock up home field, yeah, like the only other team that could get it would be the Rams. That's right. And even if the Rams do get it, oh, they no, still the have Bears, it. the Bears don't. They got eleven wins, and no, the the Bears are ten and four. The Bears just won eleven this week. No, the Bears are ten and four. They won ten games last week. No, they are at ten and. F- I'm telling you, I looked at it today. It's ten and four. So the Bears are ten and four. Bears are ten and four. <laughs> I tried to tell you that a minute ago. You the Bears are ten and four. The Saints are twelve and two. So they need the Saints to lose out and the Bears to win out. And I have no idea what the tiebreaker is since they didn't play. Um, I would imagine it's probably conference record. I and I would imagine I the Saints. I don't know how that would be much different either, because they both have division. They both have in, NFC losses. Neither one of them lost to an AFC team. Oh, yeah, they did. The Bears would have the tiebreaker because the Bears lost to the Patriots. Yeah, but the Saints would have to lose to the Steelers. No, they wouldn't. If the Saints lost more NFC games. No, the Saints are up by two games right now, and they have to lose out, right? So they would have to lose to the Steelers. So in that case, the conference record wouldn't be your tiebreaker. So I don't know what the tiebreaker would be. Either way, you would would getting the Saints to lose – one of these two games oh, yeah, at home is just crazy. probably not going to happen. But either way, the only other team, I understand mathematically it is still possible. I got that. But it would be the Rams. And remember, Sean McVay still has not won a playoff game yet. No, and I don't – I think we are. We might be seeing Jarrett Goff just be a little too Jarrett Goffy and not enough yeah. Sean McVay puppety. I mean, Sean needs to get his hand up in that puppet ass a little bit farther. Oh yeah, if he wants to keep winning games. Now you you because right golf's that. talent alone, that's not cutting it. No, no, it's sure not. Seven interceptions in two games. That's the Jared Goff I remember. Uh, that's that's California Jared yeah. Goff. That's that's NCAA Sonny Dykes. That's, that's Jeff, what that is. That's Jeff Fisher Jared Goff. Oh my god. 
All right, that, uh, that's going to wrap up our NFL Top 5, Bottom 5 for week number 15. As always, go to tunicatravel.com. Check out the sports books down in Tunica. Go to winningcureseverything.com.